May, Lieutenant General Bikram Singh takes over as India's new Chief of Army Staff after perhaps the most contentious and controversial handovers in the institution's history. And in the swirling atmosphere of hostility and distrust that continues between the offices of the Army Chief and the Defence Minister, questions are being asked about whether Bikram Singh will have the freedom and the kind of leadership quality that the Army needs. Well, his to-do list is quite daunting, but will the political atmosphere and renewed focus on his office really allow him the latitude for tough decisions or has his powers been killed at that? In less than two months, this man takes over as India's next Chief of Army Staff. But never before has a transition been so troubled, so replete with acrimony and in such a controversial and vitiated atmosphere. After surviving a blistering campaign by his own chief, one that could simply have seen him lose his place in the succession line, Lieutenant General Bikram Singh's appointment remains controversial and is even the subject of a petition led by former military veterans. He's a very mature person and I have no doubt he will overcome the problem. There may be initial hiccups because the army unfortunately also seems a little polarized. He ought to get a fair chance because uh, he himself has not been... Uh, accused of anything uh, but he has been selected the chief of army staff by the cabinet committee on security uh, which presumes that they've gone through his record and they've satisfied themselves that the atmosphere of turbulence throws up several troubling questions about just what general Bikram Singh's stewardship may be like and the new constraints he may have to work with for starters Bikram Singh takes office in the most unhappy of circumstances for civil military relations the general will be perceived to be an establishment man, pushed through by the government despite the age row. Going simply by human nature, therefore, the new chief may not have any reason to rock the boat. And since anyone who wishes to lead the Indian army needs to be fearless of occupational friction, it is unlikely that Bikram Singh will have any incentive to go out on a limb and do anything dramatic or revolutionary. What you see as adversity, what you see as a very bad start could equally be an opportunity to take the issues head on from day one and for God's sake there is in the national interest it will be important for the next chief to throw his weight in to correct all the anomalies that have been pointed out by the present chief in these difficult circumstances General Bikram Singh's duties become inordinately difficult and his plate is perhaps fuller than any army chief before him to begin with, the new chief will have to earnestly apply himself to shoring up morale in the army and restoring confidence in the office of leadership. He will also need to work meticulously to speed up modernization in the army, a job the current chief, by his own admission, has failed to make happen. Finally, Bikram Singh will need to restore the image of the army in public perception. Ironically, General V.K. Singh, who took office with precisely that stated intention, has inadvertently ended up doing just the opposite. The heavy circumstances in which the baton passes to General Bikram Singh are plain for all to see. His stewardship will be the focus of deep scrutiny. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.